recording this because I'm not real sure who this is or what they're doing. I'm not trying to stalk you or anything. <laughs> well, who are you? I'm Zeb. Zeb. You're Zeb? Yes. And you're not trying to stalk me? No, I'm not. What? It's the craziest story how we got here today. I'm curious how you got here. Who, who's we? That's my wife, April. Well, tell her to get out. There's going to come a day we're going to look back on this video and say, wow. Look right now at those little nubs. Baby, I'm looking at your nubs. I want to see the little nubs coming out of your head. <laughs> there is going to come a day, y'all know that, when these nubs are going to be so darn long. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love your pretty smile. You got a great smile. <laughs> Thanks for smiling, baby. Look at them little nubs. I can't wait. I hope I have this video still around when that day happens. And these little nubs are super long. Oh, gosh. It's going to be so funny to see that. Oh, Ruby. So, Daddy, you're all cut up and scratched up. I am, baby. I stay cut up and scratched up. Probably you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, she loves that right there. Someone's jealous. Danny? Danny, get out the garden. Danny? Always something, Danny. I'm coming over there. I'm gonna come over there and give you a pow pow with my spanky stick. Oh, did you see that? Baby, I was just kidding. I'm not really gonna spank you, but you don't gotta kick at me. Jamie's talking about the difference in these two calves. How Ruby is just so sweet. She just loves to cuddle and just be sweet. She likes to be scratched. She, she likes affection. to be scratched and yeah, she loves affection. And Danny wants you nowhere near her, unless she's hungry. If she's hungry, you can get close to her. And if she's not, then you need to just keep your distance. And she has a whole lot of spunk. She's independent. She's Miss Independent. Am I finally going to get some loving? Am I finally going to get some loving from you? Please. Please, Danny. Danny, please. Danny. Danny, I need some loving. She is so spoiled. Oh, Lord. Here comes trouble. I just want to say I advised him against this. Alex is crazy, though. He really is. He's kind of a daredevilish type crazy. And he insists he can drive his truck down this hill and drive it back up without a trailer. I'm like, okay. It wasn't bad at all. That was actually very easy. Dang it. I was hoping for more action. Right, we are here to repair this. This is a non-collapsible hose. A suction hose, they call it. It cannot, like, vacuum suck and collapse on itself. Uh, on the side right there. So, this is a job that I have dreaded. And that's why I'm lucky to have Ben. <laughs> ben, uh, he texted me. He asked me, did I have any work available? I says, Ben, I have a perfect job for a big, strong guy like you. Is that insulting whenever someone tries to tell you how big and strong you are just before they'll get more work out of you? Not really. You know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah, I get what you're saying. People do that. They say, oh, man, you're a big, strong guy, but you could probably move blah, blah, blah. And so I'm like, man, you're a big, strong guy. You can probably roll up these hoses and get all this stuff done and save your poor Uncle Lester's lots of wear and tear on his old back and his old knees. And Ben, here, look at him. He's just sweating bullets working. And when he leaves here, guess what? He goes to piano recital. 
lesson. Piano lessons. Piano lessons with a nice sweat. I hope you're gonna shower first. Oh, God, <laughs> <laughs> Your instructor would not allow that, would she? Is it a he or she? It's a woman. A woman? Yeah. Uh, Sherry's Piano Studio. Oh, no. So at some point you gotta play something so we can hear you play, Ben. Uh, give me another year. A year? Yeah. By next summer I should probably be able Man, to Man, even your Uncle Lester can play Mary Had a Little I Lamb. Can, I can play Amazing Grace. Okay. Alright, we're all good over here. Alex is gonna try to get back up the hill. This should be entertaining, Ben. Think you can make it? Bets? I, I think you can. You think you can? Yeah. <laughs> bucks on the ground. <laughs> she forgot her buckets down. <laughs> gotcha! I meant to do it. Yeah, you meant to do it. Nope. I think this is really cute. Waylon goes down to the pond and literally walks into the water now we've seen cows do that before obviously you know that moo and cj both have done that and i have uh, a few cows at my dad's place will go into the water but he's like down knee deep in the pond water here cooling himself off you like that buddy you look so handsome standing there now tex is chummed up with santoro they're like being best friends over there. Tex is so happy to have a friend. <laughs> and then I feel like Waylon feels like the third wheel. Waylon's like, they're not playing with me. Waylon, he had a good buddy in Santoro, and now Santoro's been taken over by Dad. They're just enjoying some catch-up time. I want y'all to notice Indy how she's laying. I don't really get this. Uh, we just turned the sprinklers off. Carl and Tad are laying here in the water. Indy is laying right on the edge of where the sprinkles landed. I don't know why, but look at her back legs, how she's kind of laying, sitting on her knees. I don't know if you can see that or not, friends, but how cute is that? And then, uh, they've come up and the horses have come up and everyone's kind of having an afternoon here in the shade, which is awesome. We got some fresh hay out. Uh, across the distance, you see Tex and Santoro, Waylon, doing their thing. There's the big birds off in the shade tree on the other side of the pond. Uh, I'm here with Rocky. Guys, I'm just here with old Rocky. Hi, Rockers. Hi, Rocky boy. He's a good guy, y'all. He's a great guy. And um, another thing you probably are going to wonder about is how come Indy is not with our goats? And I don't know. Our ghosts have gone off along the uh, trail that goes down to the woods. They're all laying over there today. And Indy stayed inside the pastures. She didn't have to. The gate, the gate over there is open. You can see there's the opening to the gate that she could have walked through if she wanted to. But she chose to stay close, and that's completely fine. That, you no, know, it is. It's completely fine. But uh, we're going to kind of let her pick and choose how she decides to get around. It's a hot day. Which nothing new about that. We are 
closing out our last week of August. Really? Tat. It's the RV where you're gonna find something really cute. Winch is Ruby and look at that little sweet girl right there. I love her. Danny, you're just a wonderful thing. Oh, Ruby is laying in her doggy bed. <laughs> Baby, that's a doggy bed. That's not made for cows. But she doesn't know that, y'all. She has no idea. She thinks it's for her. And that's fine. Oh, she wants to play with Daddy. You want to love on Dad for a little bit, sweetie? You can. I love you so much. Oh, so like, scratch my neck, Daddy. That's my favorite spot right there. To scratch my neck and I'll smile for you. Okay. Danny, can I love you? Danny, you need to get your little butt over here. I want to love Danny. Guys, in all the time that Tex has been here, he's never walked out into our pond. And here he is, he and Santoro. Uh, his son, and they're over in our pond enjoying a nice cooling splash of water. How awesome is that? Isn't that the cutest thing? And we saw Waylon in the water no more than 30 minutes ago. So these guys are getting pretty smart in learning how to cool off. And it took Santoro to bring the kid out of Tex. It did. It took Santoro to bring the kid out of a uh, the old man there and he's like he's gonna learn something from these boys how to stay cool in the summertime which is awesome i love that it is that time of day where everybody comes out and enjoys a little afternoon run around so huh, i just saw ruby jump so cute She's playing. Everyone's playing together. And uh, now the little goat is in the bathroom. We don't let the little goat come out unless we can watch him. And we're not, we're not, right now we're not watching. Jamie's doing her chores. I'm doing my chores. And there's no one who can watch the little goat. When I say little goat, I mean Finn. I think that we have an official name and it's Finn. F I N N. Look at those two. Oh, Lord. Nah. <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> you got a lot of work if you're going to be a Longhorn. Nah. If you're going to be a Longhorn, Lester Longhorn, you got a lot of work to do on that. On that. Do you call it a bellow? What do you call a moo? What do you call that sound they make? A moo. What do you call that? What's the official word? For a moo. Mrr, what do you call it? I don't think it's a bellow. I think a bellow is what a, a bull does whenever they're like gonna fight. I don't really know exactly what you call that sound. Uh oh, careful. So you can see that Millie and Sadie have been off in the pond. They are soaking wet, which is cute. And uh, they're keeping an eye on everybody. They do that. They, they're really good at keeping an eye on everybody. Of course, we know what Stella's up to. She, her eyes are only on the baby. She just makes sure the baby stays safe and the baby being uh. Starla. It's crazy to me how much more energy everybody has this time of day compared to an hour or two ago. Oh no, Christmas is back to her old games of playing Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, that's her game, Lieutenant Dan, when she doesn't want to, and then all of a sudden now she, it's a miracle she can walk. <laughs> well, okay, so much for that game. I am gonna make my way around the other side of the property to get my uh, side by side. Well, this is cute. Let's walk over here. I have, I don't know why. I think this is just really cute the way the cows have learned to cool themselves off. Guys, we've seen this a hundred times from other cows here and there. But that's a uh, Waylon. I believe that's Waylon. I, I, from a distance, I have, <laughs> I have uh, gotten Waylon and Centauro mixed up a couple of times. It's not because I'm getting old. 
Now that, that does happen. I start talking so fast that I can sometimes jumble some names. But uh, the, I can tell, I can see the face and tell in a heartbeat, but the body sometimes I can't always identify them from their markings. And so I do believe that's Waylon. they're doing but this vehicle has been sitting here for a little bit we're gonna find out who's who and what's what and they're getting out who is this I can't hear you. I said, we're, I'm not trying to stalk you or anything. <laughs> well, who are you? I'm Zeb, Zeb. You're Zeb? Yes. And you're not trying to stalk me? No, I'm not. What, it's the craziest story how we got here today. Well, can I keep videoing? Yeah, you can. Because I'm curious how you got who, Who's we? That's my wife, April. Well, tell her to get out. Okay. Let's make a fun video out of this. Y'all seem safe enough. I'm going to open my gate. Oh, You're not crazy, are you? Oh, no. You promise? <laughs> All right, so you guys are stalking us? No. <laughs> Stalkers. I'm actually kidding. No, so, okay, weird as it sounds, I actually have talked to this guy several times. I did not know he was coming. <laughs> and I said, you know, all you have to do is email. Just if you would have emailed, I would have been prepared for you. But uh, nice guy, nice people, lovely couple, and they're traveling through. And supposedly, I'm going to do my air quotes, the GPS took them right by here. But uh, we had a nice visit, and no one's going to sue me. I'm not getting sued. There goes my stalkers. Bye, stalkers. Nice meeting you guys. <laughs> That's an awesome car. That's electric, y'all. That's an electric vehicle. And that was cool. Um, so, okay. Well, listen, I can't say that I'll do that for everybody. But um, that was uh, that was something. And that is also why we have a gate. A nice, big, secure gate. And you're probably like, Lester, what good is a gate if you can go down and let everybody in? Well, I wouldn't let everybody in. And I just, you know what? Just forget about it. Nice people. I'm glad we got to shake hands. And it was a pleasure to show him and his wife around. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. Something like that.